Cool. So today is the 23rd of August, and we would be doing one of our first recorded public triages. So we are uh, looking at chef server issues. Um, so we looked at some of these uh, last time, but we have not added the aspect component and type labels on this. Sh uh, should we get started with adding those or should we look at the issues that we haven't looked at? What would be your suggestion? I say we look at new issues if it, I don't yeah. want, I don't want to bog down. Okay. Okay, cool. I am just moving the video around a little bit. Okay. Uh, so I think we stopped at 16.03 mark. That sounds about right. Yeah. 12, 13, 01. Okay, you should probably add this in. Uh, um, let's see. So I know we recently updated um, a bunch of the API docs on Docs Chef. So we may need to check if this got fixed or not. Yeah, this is specifically for an older version though. So if this, like, if they can upgrade, that would be great. Well, I'll, I, I know that we haven't changed that API in four years or five years. So I'm pretty okay. sure that this applies to the latest. I think this happened to be what they were running when they checked it. Ah, okay. Um, I have trouble seeing how we would have changed this. So, oh, this already has the aspect tag, right? Component. Yes. So we need to add a component for Oh, this is the general documentation. So like if there yeah. is no component, then it would assume that this applies to chef server. Okay. Uh, yeah. Type. This will be a chore. Yeah, it is still broken in the docs, so. Oh, uh, detect it. No, well, chore. It's, yeah. Maintenance, I would say. It's either that or a bug. I mean, I think it's a documentation bug. Uh, the documentation says one thing and we do another that feels like a it deviates from the uh, expected behavior type thing that feels like a bug okay this is small yeah it's a small i mean as a work item i would definitely argue that we should be uh, doing a sweep of the doc um yeah. Sweep of a docs in general. Um, yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Moving on to fifteen ninety nine. Chef Sarah Kadal OCID show app does not recognize the app name. Uh -oh. Want me to try adding this in?
feel like this is a shape like a bug with some feature request buried in. Yeah. Um, I think I think what is underlying happened is, is that we uh, probably didn't fully implement this command when we implemented it. No, I can provide it. So yes, it is a bug. Yeah, I would. I would. Aspect correct correctness or for incomplete. Stability testing UI. Yeah, I'm, these aspect labels are a little new to me. Um, yeah. Maybe correctness might be the closest, I feel like. Either that or I have UX. Fran, you're, you're not muted. Oh, no. I, I, I was going to say, yeah, I, I agree with you, Mark, because it's almost like it's, the correctness just speaks to straight up functionality of what we say should happen and something else happens. Okay, so, so UX, right? Uh, yeah, it feels like a field UX-ish. Um, let's see, Ivy. Um, Cyberpunk. Are un like it's something that was not done more than I think being a bug. Uh, not sure. Uh, I I'm not. Yeah, I would call this a bug. Um, yeah. I mean, my expectation is if if I type that command, I get some sign of sane result. And it doesn't feel like it's a sane result to me. Yeah. It also feels smallish. Yeah. If you yeah. wanted to. Okay, moving on to fifteen ninety eight. 12, 18, 14 API version bump introduced an incompatibility with an older version of Berkshire. Okay. All right. This. Okay. This one, okay, so this is, I can tell you that this is due to the change to how segment-free cookbooks were added. Um, that, that was some work by Tom May in early 2018. Um, I think the thing here to ask is, um, This feels like a Burke shelf change required. Unless, I, I don't know. I, I don't fully understand what they think. I, I, we had to do, we had to bump the API because we changed the API. Um, so I think it's a, either a Burke shelf change. Well, yeah, it looks like he says modifying Burke shelf in place to have the new lines let the upload complete successfully. Yeah. So this is already added. So then this is working. So we probably didn't need to update the version of Bookshelf then that has this change. Yeah, I think I would say we should just close this unless I think I. Th I am pretty sure we must be on a later version of Berkshire now. I think everybody's pretty much was forced to upgrade. Um, I would say close this, feel free to reopen it if, if, if it's still actually breaking anybody. But this okay. feels like a, unless I, 
I don't, I don't understand what work we would do to, in Chef's liver to fix it. Yeah, other than upgrading the version of Work Chef, which might already have this change. So then. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, and, of this. and that's that customer's dev box. It's not on the Chef's server side that Work Chef would be upgraded. Right. So this is so there's no there's no change to the chef server stack with this. Um, I mean, I, I would say that this is. I don't know how to classify something that is is sort of a bug, but isn't. This can be fixed by the customer. Uh, by. This event in oh, I thought it usually used to list what versions it is on. So I think post 707. Um, say that again, sorry. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Fran. Bye. So I, I wanted to look at this guard merge on August 3rd, 2018. Uh, I guess I would close. I would. So anything post version 6.3.4 of Berkshire sure solves this issue. Yeah, I guess I would close this with a, if I understand what's going on correctly, upgrading to Berkshelf is the fix. Um, is the, and then ask, is there some, is there some change that needs to happen on chef server? Uh, and, and, and then close it with a, Uh, 6.3.4, was it? 6.3.4, yeah. 6.3.3 as well, but just to be safer. Uh, well, seven. he's reporting 7.04 reproduces the breakage in his pull request, and not pull request in his issue. So I don't understand this. On August 6th, and August 7th, we released 634 and 706. Okay, okay, so 706, sorry, sorry. He's 704. So maybe 706 is the version yeah. that's fixing. 706. Please. Reopen the issue. Sounds okay. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. Sorry. All right. The next one is Chef Server Cuddle doesn't fail without sudo. Ah, yeah. This is if you do Control C. Or if it is not root, it should say run with root, but instead it just gives a stack, stack trace. Yeah. Yeah, so this is a, uh, this is definitely a, uh, I have, I went through and labeled this as a bug. We should, uh, so one thing we might want to do in our process is 
is um do we have a we were we are adding uh labels saying that we have triaged it right yes okay we are uh, we are adding a label so five labels i'm trying to add for every one of these aspect component type size and triage okay yeah um so i feel like this well since i commented on it i think it's confirmed so yeah um, i yeah but i don't so this would be aspect correctness or it's again ux ux, UX thing it's yeah a ux thing i mean uh component chef server cuddle is that a component it should be if it's not should we add it i think we should add it okay i will add that then uh Type is a bug already. Size, I would still think this is a small because yeah. we need to just check for the user. Yeah, this, 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 there are a lot of what I would call little two hour cleanups in these issues that, yeah. you know, that would, that would be the kind of perfect thing to slide in. Should I also mark this as the good first issue? It is a good first issue. Um, because it's, I think, relatively straightforward Ruby. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to add components. Oh, sorry. It doesn't send anybody into the really dark corners of our code, so uh, right. I feel like I'd be comfortable with that. New label component. Um, okay, and Will it sort it automatically? Probably will. So. Okay. Uh, and Status good first issue. So I should also add the status. So we're adding six labels. <laughs> okay. Um, is this so in parallel? I'm also maintaining the uh, list of things uh, that might be good. To get into Chef Server 14, mm -hmm. was there anything that we looked at today that I could add to that list? Sorry, I forgot to mention it before. Any of these, any of these UX ones, feel like they're a lot of these are pretty, pretty reasonable drive-by fixes, and yeah. feel like I don't know. I, I feel like a little bit of this what I'll call pain relief stuff. Yeah. If someone, you know, some feels strongly enough about it to write it up, let's let's see if we can, you know, I don't want to commit to an epic for it, but at the same time, if it's just a little fix, like this root one, feels like it's it's a little it's a little wart that we could uh, remove right. and make life better. Right. Uh, show app does not recognize the app name. I wouldn't put this as a good first issue, but the documentation prob no, no, never mind. Uh, okay, so LDAP. Uh, we are at 30 minutes actually. We can probably look at this one, see if there are any new issues, and then move on to some pull requests if possible, and then do the yep. push up server in fact. Okay. Uh, okay, what's this? So we have integrated chef server on loan. Four oh four. Okay. 
I feel like um, 1592. I don't know. I looked at this, obviously, and I don't know what on earth hap is happening. And I think it needs further information for us to do a more debug on. Um, yeah, I I also have not uh, run through that setup. Yeah. So, like I I don't know at this point if we want more information what it is that we want to ask for, or it is mostly like uh, try doing it and see what happens, and then request for more information. Yeah, also, I think, so, we might try when we, okay, so we're going to upgrade Erlang to get LDAP working again. Right. Um, I honestly don't know whether this is, I think this is separate, but I'm not 100% it's percent sure it's separate from the LDAP breakage with Erlang. Okay. So then let me put this under the upgraded line task and check if this fix that fixes this. Yeah, well, we don't have enough to, I think it's worth, you know, seeing if we can repro this when we do that. Yeah, I think the other part of it is I don't have enough really to repro this case. I mean, yeah. from what they've told me here, um, I don't have enough information to repro. Uh, what would we put the aspect as? So he, he, this is maybe a little, a little Not, I, I don't know if this is a live issue anymore, to be honest. It's not, you know, they filed this yeah. Seventh, and this is a case where uh, they never got back to me after I responded on the eighth. Right. Eight. And so, um, I think we need to. I think we need to file this under needs. Uh, uh, waiting. Waiting on contributor. Or uh, we need a needs a triage needs information. Um, we don't have enough. We don't have enough information. Let's let's put needs information, and it. Yeah, it's 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 an LDAP. Probably it's it's an LDAP issue, almost certainly. But I, I think I would. I'm going to put component LDAP here just because. Um, I went ahead and did it. Um, yeah, sure. Let's, let's close this because we need. I, oh, I just, okay. Let's close this with a thank you for reporting this. Um, we need more information to. We, we don't have enough information to reproduce this. Feel free to reopen and add information if if it's still a problem. I had. I would like to help them, but um, yep. Okay, I want to see if there are any new issues that we might have not. Yep. Uh, yeah, I think we added this last time, right? Which one? Seventeen twenty. Uh, yes, but so, we have no no more new issues. Yeah, uh, I mean, technically, do we want to just add the right labels to this? Sorry. What do you say? Um, yeah, we might as well put LDAP on it. I think we can take off the untriage yeah. at this point. Oh, 
sorry. I mean, that actually is something I'm tempted to do is go through all the really old issues. Everything that doesn't have a triage tag on it, add the status untriaged or something like that so we can do a quick search for everything that's untriaged. Since the status untriaged is auto added for us now, that would let us that would let us next time we come in just do a search for status untriaged and have a nice easy view of our situation. Right. Uh, the aspect for this would be Well, I, I want to say anything for a lab can be tested once we upgrade Erlang. I don't know what to put for aspect here. Integration with other projects? No, with this project. LDAP working with Chef Server. Would that be integration? Um, integration. Yeah. It feels like an integration problem. Yeah. Uh, we have the component type. It does not work as expected. Yeah, it feels like a bug. Yeah. Something. Uh, size. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> but I. Honestly, I don't know how many lines of code it might be, uh, but yeah. I'm gonna put large or Excel on this just because there are a lot of unknowns or. Yeah, I mean, this is not unknowns. one not one that I think measures by uh, lines of code. It's probably hair you lose pulling it out while debugging. Yeah. It could be a three day debug and a one line change. I completely agree, that's what this feels like. But so. I'm going to just read Excel as will take a long time, irrespective of how many lines of code you write. Is there a label missing? Did we add status? No. Uh, actually, have wanted because we have asked something to the customer, right? Yeah, the status is so pull request centric in its phrasing. Yeah. I don't know how to quite label this. All right. Yes. Um, Let's go to pull requests. I think we've covered all the other other stuff for the moment. We should might, yeah. want to, might want to loop through some of these next time. Yeah. Well, we have a lot of pages of issues. Yeah, I'm just looking at, uh, um, we have the uh, 1703. Oh, sorry. Okay. We haven't. Uh, 1703. Uh, Here, this one? Yeah, I oh, haven't so done 70. anything with those two. Do you want to take a look at those or move let's on? Take a quick, let's take a quick look so that at least we can remove the status on triaged label. Okay, because there are quite a few with untriaged label. Yeah. I was just thinking, um, let's make sure we get the most recent stuff. Okay. Just real quick, since this one is not quite. This is merged, I think. Oh. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure I have merged this. Well, then that's uh, nice. Or Oh, okay. It's open because the documentation cannot be merged until we do a release. So the code part of it has been merged, but the documentation bit has not since we are not doing okay. it. Okay. So, so uh, that will definitely change the labels. So now I'll call this aspect documentation. Yeah. Um, there should be a waiting on release or something. No, like, this is pretty much not going to be done until, uh, 
we do the release. Yeah, let's put a comment in the in the thing saying, "Hey, the, the reason this is open, this is still open because yeah, we should need a yeah. This is where that next release. Yeah, that, that's probably where you just throw the next release tag on it, and when we're going through the next release and walking it through, we can. Should I add that label? Like, I, it feels like status next release or something. Yeah, a status or. Or waiting on release or something. Yeah. It's also adopted. <laughs> yeah, it is adopted. Okay. Well, I sort of, it depends on how you want to flag it. There are two parts. One part is, a, is done and the other part is remaining to be done. It will be useful to flag what is remaining to be done. Yeah. I mean, the labels, we can't, you know, so at a certain point, we don't need to make the labels do everything as long as we can find it when it comes time for release and make a release checklist, right? Yeah. Um, and release. Oh, I probably put it in the right place now. <laughs> Am I doing something very silly? I'm adding a little comment to the bottom to this saying the code this hasn't been this has been implemented but we're leaving this open until the docs have been Oh, does it not search uh, unless my case is Component data collected. Or should that be a component or reporting? Maybe data collector is for reporting, but I don't know if reporting is a deprecated reporting. Yeah, I think the reporting is the deprecated reporting. Um, oh, automate integration, maybe then. Yeah. That works. Okay. That seems um, that seems perfect for what we want. That this is just a chore. Need the documentation would be a chore, right? I don't know what a chore is. I think of chores as things like bumping all the Ruby versions and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> Well, keeping documentation updated. Uh, I don't know. Whatever, whatever makes sense. Um, okay. And do we have a triage label on this? No, this is, but this will be triage. 
triage confirmed. And then I think the size is the only one that's missing now, right? Yeah. Okay. At this point. Yeah. All right. Okay. Do you want to look at push? Uh, not the pull requests. Oh, we can look at the pull requests, yeah. Maybe one. Let's look at one pull request at least. So uh, this one it looks good to me. I tested it and it's working fine. Uh, but he wanted to add some docs, I think. Uh, so here. That's that's the only thing that it's waiting for. This information, he just wanted to put that as a part of a doc. Okay. Um, so he said he'd do that, but I can do it too sometime. This one is still incomplete, and I think we are going to get back to this once uh, the Azure bit of the being able to connect to Azure mm -hmm. um, starts to work. So this is yeah. on the back burner for now. Okay. Uh, this is the one that is currently in progress, actually. Yeah. Uh, this one, I think we had a conversation and based on that, we decided that this is probably not, this is probably what is already deprecated. I feel like. Okay. Uh, this is the external labyrinth queue credentials one okay so we're just going to close this saying we're about to rip this all this code out and yeah I, I i think so that'd be the right thing to do okay um but i i will recheck that and do this so okay Chef, um, push, server. Okay, we'll leave that in All right. Oh, pushy server. This is here for tracking before we do our next release. We observe that the Erlang ZMQ library is making a local copy of ZMQ. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is something Jamala and I hit when trying to uh, uh, get things building. Um, is mm -hmm. that the uh, we didn't install Python two, and ZMQ stopped working, and we had no idea what was going on, and we discovered that's because of this local build of the library. And yeah, since we we're pulling it as an omnibus dependency, we. Basically, there's some magic magic tricks in the make file which attempt to find the ZMQ library and load the, it if it's present and build it if it's not. And the magic tricks are broken. Okay. So stability? It's, yeah, stability. Um... Oh, that isn't available for component. It's a packaging aspect, I would say. Okay. Um. Type. It's a chore. That, this is a chore. This is okay. absolutely, it doesn't actually make, it, it's just one of those things that you gotta clean up your, you gotta clean up your dishes after dinner and you gotta fix broken packaging stuff before it makes your life. I want medium is what I would be leaning towards. Yeah. It won't be a big change, but again, it's gonna require 
some time figuring out where to make that change. Those yeah. are usually the hardest ones. Yeah. Um, which, oh, there is no component label. We probably need to add that. Triage. <laughs> I mean, it's confirmed, I would say. Oh, sorry. I was looking at the status and I said triage. So status would be neither. Yeah, I don't know what status here. I mean, it's a chore. No one leaps into the, no one volunteers to do chores. Genuinely. <laughs> Uh, maybe add some labels for components. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it's part of the packaging. It's, you know, so that's really the component. Um, sorry, I wanted to go look at the labels. Just in case you wanted to add any. Um, okay, so if you like, we don't need to add anything right now, right? Yeah, I this don't is think so. sufficient. Okay. Incompatible with Chef HCV clusters. Okay, so this is a feature request. Okay. It's a feature request. Um, It's a uh, integration. There are no components here. So. Enhancement. Yeah. So these feel a little redundant. Yeah, I think they are. Um, I think I think this is small to medium. Yeah. Um, I, I think there's a, there's a, there's a trick to taxonomies when you're trying to make categorize things that sometimes, you know, you, you, you have this taxonomy and you end up with a bin called either you end up with a bin called miscellaneous or you end up with this granularity where your taxonomy is a bin with one item and a hundred bins with one item each. One which, item each. Which is less useful than you would like. Yes. So. <laughs> yes, I agree. Uh, triage is... I have not tested this, so maybe we should. Yeah. Uh, so then, uh, did we add something for triage that said, you know, we should take a look at this? Needs investigation, is there something like that? Oh, I think that is, you're right. This doesn't filter, does it? You can do some filtering. It's not the brightest filter. Need, there is no needs in, okay. But needs information is from the customer, right? Yeah, I think, I think we need a category for, um, I don't know if, so here's the thing. It's a- Try reproducing. It's a feature request in the end under triage. Right, okay. So feature requests. Um, and I think we need to make some calls about what we're going to take on. And, and so 
this is where getting getting these all groomed and triaged and then bringing product through is probably the way we're going to do this is that you know we walk through all the ones that we have triaged and give a brief summary of it and, and let product make the call on what we're going to take on take on okay oh dear God. Oh, this already exists. Why don't I see it then? That's where, yeah, that was, sorry, I was seeing feature request. That's what, why I said feature request. Is oh. I was reading it off. Sorry, I, I don't see it for some reason. Um, there is another one, like this, try reproducing which I feel like that's more for a bug. Yeah. You know, okay. they file, file a bug report here. They're this, they want what they would want is they're describing an implementation of a general feature, which is to get push jobs working with backend. I mean, this is also two years old and I think there's a fair call on whether we could disclose it. Yeah. So if it's a feature request under aspect, what will it come under? Nothing, right? Yeah. Well, unless it was something to improve performance or security or something. Yeah. You don't have no, confidence to... aspects really work. Yeah. But I think we need to have maybe have a conversation Type enhancement. I like these two. If there was a type enhancement, I'm not sure we'd need a feature request. Like, yeah, essentially they mean the same thing. Yeah. Status waiting on product. Yeah. Uh, I'll just leave it. Not yeah. put anything. Let's not put a status on this. Yeah, this is okay. Uh, we have a minute. Do you want to look at the client or look at another push job server? Let's sure. look at another push job server and then we can start with client next week. Okay, sounds good. Oh. Ah, here we go. Okay. All right, this probably is worth looking into, needs investigation. Yeah, although I, I'm not sure. As pushy server, if this, I would say, if it affects pushy server two. Yeah. I mean, I think pushy server one, I think we're not going to support pushy. If it affects, we should check to make sure this doesn't affect pushy server two. And otherwise close it. This is uh, triage, which one was that? Uh, try reproducing. Yeah.
Oh, is this already present? I feel like it is. No, it doesn't. And I feel like putting a note down saying, hey, this yeah. is, we should check. We should check this if this, we're not going to fix push one, but we should check if it affects push. Um, so Ryan said that something might, may or may not have fixed the issue, um, but okay. I can just say we were server two since. All right. Cool. 